All right, we'll do this. Um, this is this talk actually should be complementary to a lot of what we've just heard um, because what we're trying to do with the monitoring dashboard um, on the Managing Drought Risk on the Ranch website is pull together all of the tools and data that uh, can are, can specifically help ranchers answer specific management questions and make the decisions that they need to make in their operations. And so I'm going to start with just this question of making decisions on the ranch during drought. Again, as I introduced myself, uh, you heard I'm a social scientist, I'm not a climate scientist. So I'm really interested in the people making the decisions, what their thought processes are, what, what kinds of information they have to juggle, what types of uncertainties they go through, all that stress and confusion, and trying to manage through drought. So um, as many of you in this room already know, during drought, livestock raisers have to make a lot of decisions that have serious ramification. They need to think about uh, what kind of a drought response really is needed in their situation and when that drought response ne is needed to be most effective. Um, they might be thinking about what conditions are actually gonna trigger the response. Um, and then and they still need to, once they figure that all out, they need to figure out how to carry out the response. So there's, there's a lot of questions out there. There's clearly, there's a lot of amazing data out there. There's not always a connection between those questions and the data. And sometimes then when folks are trying to make decisions, some of the feedback we get is like, okay, well, here's a lot of maps. It's making me more worried is that, you know, what else am I supposed to do with this information? So, so we've been asking questions of ourselves, of, of ranchers, of um, rangeland advisors and specialists to try to better understand how drought monitoring information can actually help grazers make decisions um, that are the most effective on their operations. And in many cases, that is, can they make their decisions earlier or more easily? Jimmy mentioned how there's, there's a human tendency to kind of wait and see. It's just kind of what we put, and sometimes that's fine. It's worked out for me occasionally, but with drought, that can be really harmful. Um, but knowing when you're going into drought and when you have to take action and how, how, how dramatic of an action you need to take can be really hard to answer and very stressful. So, so with these questions, we're trying to really address those, those middle two. It's how can we make it monitoring information more usable to address these questions? And can it help ranchers make decisions earlier? So with the USDA Climate Hubs a couple of years ago, we put together um, this dashboard. And the dashboard is organized by the questions that ranchers told us they were trying to make or trying to answer during drought. Um, and then I'll talk a little bit more about how we might how ranchers might use the information for these questions. But but the main questions are obviously what's my current drought situation? Um, the second question that, and I'll just run through these first and then I'll talk about them. The second one is how does this year compare to last year? The third one is, so what can I expect for forage production this year? As you can imagine grass caps is gonna show up there. And then a question of, well, but could I maybe still get enough precipitation to do okay? Like, what if, what if it starts raining? And then that fifth question really isn't about monitoring, but it's, okay, I have to do something, what are, give me some options, what do I do? So these questions are important because I think what we've heard, we really heard this even in February at a workshop we did at SRM is not all ranchers make decisions the same way. Surprise, 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 right? So, so one type of information isn't going to be equally usable to all to ranchers as a whole. And this, I think this gives us a clue as a drought learning network, like this is just one of our audiences, as ranchers. There's diversity in, in how they make decisions. We wanna to try to figure out how to target information and it's almost decision by decision, we can do that for, for different groups. So for many ranchers, that first question, what is my current drought situation, is their most important information. It's their trigger. They don't believe in forecasts. They, they will make their decision based on what they know about right now. And that's fine. So we want to share the information that's going to give them that, that what they need to make the decisions. And that might be, what is the precipitation or how uh, this is the percentage precipitation compared to normal that I've received on my in my operation in this water year. And somebody can take that information and they might and that might trigger their specific uh, decision. Um, another thing that might trigger it, um, I also pulled up veg dry and there might be a certain date where I just want to look at my range condition and that's going to trigger my trigger my decision. Um, 
I'm going to actually come back to that one. Here in the Southwest on um, public lands and national forests, um, the SPI is a trigger for um, evaluating grazing allotments. So that might, that 12 month SPI might be one of the most important things that, uh, that ranchers or decision makers want to make or want us to look at. Um, we pulled into the dashboard, we actually pulled in uh, COCO Ross reports and we pulled in the uh, Seymour um, condition monitoring reports because some people don't trust data, but they definitely trust what other what their fellow ranchers are putting <laughs> are seeing. So they might want to go look at this and see what, what other people are reporting. Uh, just to make it easy and try to encourage uh, participation in these, if you in the actual site, if you click on it, you can get to Coco Rods, you can get to see more, and you can you can enter your own report right from um, So we're trying to link those together. So those those are for the rangers who just want to know what's it like right now. Um, some ranchers, very naturally, we all sometimes think, well, okay, it's June 6th. Last year, what was I doing on June 6th? And how, how dry was it then? And did that work out for me or not? What should I be doing? And so then we wanted to give, give folks a way to compare this year to last year. So on the upper left is the way that you see it right now in the dashboard is just in the drought monitor comparison of two different time periods that you can play around with. Well, Having quite a few meetings with my crewmen, actually, <laughs> um, one of the things I really love about about my range log and some other tools do this too is is not only being able to put your own data in, but being able to see things on that cumulative time scale and to be able to see where am I at now and what trajectory might I be beyond. So, so I might really describe this, so I don't have to. But using my range log. Um, you can you can see yourself, and as he was pointing out, the, those greens are historically wet years. Uh, precipitation down to the browns are historically dry years. So you can kind of see yourself in history. What trajectory might go beyond? This is something I really love to incorporate into the dashboard. Um, so this is going to be an important thing for some ranchers, and then for some ranchers, they do. They want to use that outlook. They want to use the three month outlook, and they want to have some sense of um, looking into the future. And that's where. Grasscast, and there's some other great tools that are being developed to really help ranchers use those tools and, and really get a sense of, oh, well, you know what, looking at the data, I, I should probably start making, the decision, making some decisions. And it's not looking great for me, no matter what. Um, so we want to, so we're trying to provide this information in a way that really directly connects to um, how ranchers might be thinking. Um, this is really in process, but that timing and knowing what are the months that I really need precipitation and so when do I need to monitor and make decisions is something that we're trying to think about for different regions. Obviously, it's harder to nail down for some regions than others. And then finally, we just wanted to make it really easy then for folks to um, then be like, okay, what are, you know, what are my options? What are some best management practices? So, um, so there's some link to a drought management strategy library and resources by state and some other things there. Um, so again, this is in process. I think there are ways that we can make it more useful for livestock managers in the Southwest. And um, I would love to do that with the cooperation of you all in the drop learning network. There's a provide feedback button. And that's the end of my flash talk. <laughs>